to the UK and a surprise political comeback. Former Prime Minister David Cameron has been appointed Foreign Secretary, replacing James Cleverly. Cameron says he hopes his six years in the top job will assist him in helping current Prime Minister Rishi Sunak meet vital challenges. Cameron quit as PM and left politics in 2016 following the Brexit referendum that removed the UK from the European Union. He called the vote and campaigned for Britain to remain in hopes of overcoming anti-EU sentiment in his Conservative Party. It was considered a major political blunder. Our correspondent Birgit Maas joins us from London. Birgit, how has David Cameron managed to come back from the dead politically? really a surprise appointment here in London, but it's not really about David Cameron. It's much more about the government being in crisis. So for about a year now, Rishi Sunak and his conservative government have been trailing behind the oppositioning Labour Party for about 20 points behind in the polls. So that's a massive gap. And Rishi Sunak really saw the need to revive his party, to revive his government, and he needed to, very desperately, wanted to get rid of his home secretary. So he thought uh, the best way to do this is with a big reshuffle. Now the home secretary, Suella Braverman, she had caused him significant headache. She was seen as very divisive by, by many here in the UK. Uh, most recently, she had attacked the police, and remember, she's the home secretary, for not um, policing the pro-Palestinian marches in London properly. She had spoken of an invasion of migrants arriving at Britain's shores. And she said that homeless people, um, homelessness basically is a lifestyle choice. So she's been seen by many as uh, somebody who is polarizing and also op openly more or less defying uh, her boss, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. So that was really behind it. He needed a reshuffle. Mm -hmm. And then he, in a way, pulled David Cameron out of the hat, uh, really out of the blue for many people. It, exactly. So Sunak's not only reviving his own government, he's reviving David Cameron's political career. But what makes Cameron appealing? Well, Rishi Sunak, and, and that this is also why it, it, it takes a lot of people here by surprise, only a few weeks ago at the party conference he said that he wanted to be the prime minister of change. Now, many people were viewing that um, with surprise because the Conservatives have obviously been in power in the UK for over a decade, but nevertheless he wanted to present himself as a candidate of change. And now he's bringing back David Cameron, who is representing the tradition as a former prime minister, but he has on the international stage huge experience. He has worked with all these um, world leaders like Netanyahu, like Biden and uh, like Macron. So that uh, will have made him appealing for, for Rishi Sunak. He was also seen as somebody who um, within the UK context of the Conservative Party, he was so seen as somebody who stood for some big tent ideas, so as somebody who tried to bring people together. Um, the left and the right of, of his party he was seen as a liberal prime minister, for example. He oversaw the introduction of gay marriage. And um, yeah, so, so Rishi Suna will have thought that somebody like that um, will help him with his own um, political careers. Now, ironically, David Cameron also stood for the Brexit referendum, and that really is also the root cause of many problems within the Conservative Party. So to, to have a, a, a Remainer um, in, in this prominent position, definitely a political gamble for, for Rishi, Rishi Sunak. Okay, that breaking news from Birgit Maas in London. Thank you very much.